Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to show you guys how to use my mock-up templates on Photoshop. I know that Photoshop can be intimidating if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, but I promise you, even with no experience, you're going to be able to do this with a couple of clicks. This is a sticker pile mock-up that I designed and I sell it in my store. Once you buy it and you open it up, this is exactly how it's going to look like on your screen. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this layer that's highlighted in red, and you want to double-click on the thumbnail, which is this small square over here. Once you double click it, it's going to open up a new tab that ends in .psb. This is the smart object tab. This is going to be connected to the actual template. So once you're in this tab, you got to put your design in this window over here. There's two ways to do that. You can go to file, place embedded, and then find your design and click on it. Or what I like to do because it's easier is just click and drag the design yourself. So let's try this one right here. Once you put it in, you want to resize it so it touches the borders of the screen. So hold Option, which is what I like to do, and then drag it out until it's about to touch the borders. It's good right there. Once you're all set with that, you can delete this bottom layer over here. It's just a placeholder that I put there. You can delete that. Now, just X this out and click Save. you got to make sure to click this or it's not going to work. Save. And now it's going to auto-generate a bunch of stickers in a pile behind your design. Just like that. A common mistake that people make is that they don't double-click on the thumbnail. It has to be the thumbnail. If you double-click somewhere else, it's just going to bring up a different tab. I'm going to show you that right now. So let's double-click over here. It's going to open up this layer style window. You don't need that. you got to double-click this small square over here. So let's do that again. I'm going to show you something else that people do. Let's drag this popsicle, for example. I'm not going to resize this out to the borders. I'm going to leave it just like this, just so you can see what it does. We can delete this. So I'm going to leave it like this, which is not a problem. You can do that, but I'm going to show you why it might make it a little bit harder for you to fill up the page. So exit out, save again. It's going to auto-generate into the background. And now look at all that white space in between. Some people like doing this. It's not a problem if you do. But there's going to be a lot of space in between. There's two options that you can do on top of this. Is you can go to the background layer and hide it. See how it makes it transparent. You can now put your own background, if you have one already, in between these two layers. Or you can just delete this and add something else. Another option that you have is you can just duplicate any one of these random sticker files by pressing Command J. And now, you can use the Move tool. Where is it? There it is. And just duplicate and fill up all these little gaps. If that's what you want to do. If you just want to skip all this headache altogether, just go back and resize everything. So let's double-click on this again. And this time, we're going to make it almost touch the borders. Let's do that right there. Now, I just want you to see how it's going to look now. So again, exit out and click save. Boom. Look at that difference. It's much more filled up now. You can still kind of see some transparency over here, but you can just reactivate this white background. And if you want to just do a different color, you can. Let's do, uh, just for the sake of the example, let's click over here and let's do solid color see how it's black or you can do blue for example see those little gaps right there but I usually like to keep it white it just looks more clean that's about it this was a very brief and quick tutorial I didn't go too in depth I just want to keep it simple if you have any questions just reach out to me I appreciate you guys watching I'm going to try to reply back to anybody that I can as fast as I can. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take it easy.